In this lecture, we are going to address why is testing necessary. In order to understand this, we must remember that all of us are human. And being human, we make mistakes. And those mistakes can be very expensive. The expense can be loss of money. It can be a crucial loss of time. It can also be a loss of business reputation. And the final and gravest loss is death or injury due to our mistake. In order to avoid these losses and to minimize risk, we have to test every single aspect of our product. Let's take a look at three more points for a better understanding of why is testing necessary. First point is related to risk. We perform testing to reduce the risk associated with the product. And how do we do that? By detecting the defect, which is our next point. We have to detect defects so that they are not seen in operational use. So when the user is using our product, they should not be able to find these defects. It's our responsibility to find them first through testing. The third point is meeting the contract. We have to make sure that we are meeting all the commitments we made to our customers. So if the customer asks for something that is not included in the contract, this is where we find it. So these are the reasons testing is necessary to the process of product development. Let's say there is a developer who works on a code and creates a software. He then directly hands over that software to the customer. Now that the customer has the software, he uses it, but soon becomes very disappointed. Why? Because he has found an error in the software. So now the question arises, why did the customer find the error and not us? The answer is that once the software was developed, we handed it over directly to the customer instead of going through this rigorous process of testing. If we had put the product through this process, it is possible that we could have caught the error before it ever reached the customer. And this is where I have to mention something crucial. We have to perform appropriate testing at appropriate levels. The development of a product can be broken down into several levels of activities. At each level, we have to decide what is the appropriate testing that should be carried out. Let's take a look at these different levels of development activities. The first level is requirements. In a coming video, you will see how testing requirements contributes to success. The second level is the design stage. Here, we will see how testing design contributes to success of the project. After design comes coding. And we will also discuss how testing coding contributes to success. And finally, the software is ready. And we will analyze what kind of software testing will contribute to the success of the product. If we carry out testing at each level, then we will achieve a successful product.